to finish at least start the chapter two halacha one. What is con uh, constitute complete teshuva? A person who confronts the same situation in which he sin, when he has uh, the potential to uh, to commit the sin again, and nevertheless abstain abstains. Uh, and does not commit it because of his teshuva alone, and not because of the fear of the lack of the strength. For example, a person uh, uh, engaged in forbidden sexual relations with a woman, afterwards they met in privacy in the same country, while uh, his love for her and physical vigor still uh, persisted, and uh, nevertheless he abstained from this uh, and did not transgress, this is complete Baal teshuva. Okay, this um, this is applied by Shlomo Hamela, as it is stated in Kahelis uh, twelve one. I remember you, Creator, in the days of your youth, before the bad days come and the years draw near, when you will say, "I have no desire for that." So when he did Teshuvah, when he's uh, eighty seven uh, and a half years old, and uh, it's he, of course, I mean uh, there, there's no Teshuvah. So when he's uh, twenty years old, or fifteen, or sixteen, or seventeen years old. And he does not uh, look at the women. That that's the show. And he is uh, one 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 hand uh, one one leg in uh, in the afterlife. So that's that's not uh, the show, basically. If he does not repent until the, his old age, at the time when he is incapable of doing what uh, he he did before, even though it is not high level of repentance, he is about the show. So basically, just okay, he st stopped. In some sense, he's the Balteshuva, but it's not comparable to, to, the, to the original case as Rambam explained. That he can do it, he, he still has desire, physical strength, and he did not do it, that's a Balteshuva. Continue. Even if he transgressed throughout his entire life and repented on the day of his death and died in repentance, all his sins are forgiven. That's uh, very interesting. Right, Kahel is the uh, same place, continues. Before the sun, the light, and the moon, or the stars are darkened, and clouds return uh, after the rain. This refers to the day of death. Thus, we can infer that if one remembers his creator and repents before he dies, he is forgiven. I think that's it. Okay. So let's try to do a little and another stuff. <clears throat> so from the beginning, this commentary and explanations. Okay. What can, uh, constitute complete teshuva? Number one, the halacha is quote from Yoma 86a b. However, Talmud ta ta begins uh, the question: What is the example of Baal teshuva? Rambam adds the words "complete." Okay, the Talmud mentions several examples of teshuva, and uh, his uh, this rank rep um, represents the most elevated level. Meaning other examples, but this is the top level, right? Top example. Continue with Rambam. A person who confronts the same situation in which he sinned, when he has the potential to commit the sin again, it's not like it's, it must be like a, um, a situation where he has his free choice, right? That, that he he uses like free choice not to do it. It's not like he could not and this and that. No, no, no. He could, but he did not. Okay. And nevertheless, abstain uh, abstains. So he had the opportunity to sin, same sin. And he abstains and does not commit it because of his teshuva alone. Because he said, "I'm Hashem, I'm sorry, I'm never going to do it again." Commentary number two. In Halacha two, the Rambam describes uh, the continue, uh, continue conditions necessary to show the person repentance is complete and will not return to sin. In this instance, however, the abstinence from the sin, abstinence from the sin. Is sufficient evidence that he has reached uh, that level. So in this halacha, so in this case, right? So just because he does not uh, act on his desire, it already shows that uh, that he did uh, repentance. But uh, later on, we are going to see how uh, how should I uh, understand that he did the show. Okay. So let's see. Continue. So one more time, nevertheless, abstain from uh, and does not commit. It because of his teshuva alone, and not because of the fear or lack of the strength. So he's not uh, afraid to be in court. Number three, there is a fear of other men. Alternatively, not uh, not because of the fear of divine retribution. Right? It's not like he he afraid of the punishments. No, no, no. 
or being seen, uh, he, he does, does not do the same because of his teshua or lack of strength. Number four, physical weaker. Okay. Continue. So meaning physically he can do the same. For example, if a person engaged in forbidden sexual relations with a woman, afterwards they met in privacy in the same country. So what country has to do with anything? Commentary. A different uh, place, in a different place, it is possible that other factor a son from Teshuvah would uh, prevent from, uh, him from sinning. Okay. So Rambam said it's uh, exactly the same situation. I mean, as, uh, as, as close as possible. Well, his love for her and physical vigor still pers uh, persisted. I mean, uh, it's not like he that does not like you any longer. He still likes you, everything is good, okay. Persisted and nevertheless, he abstained and did not transgress. This is complete Baal Teshua, number six. The expression Baal Teshua means master of Teshua. The master means that he can handle himself, master of Teshua. According to Mabit, Beit Elohim, Sharei HaTeshua, it implies that one subjugated, one attribute, the, the attribute of Teshua, make it a permanent aspect of his nature. Maybe meaning that he changed himself and now he's master of his desires. That's what Baal Teshua means. So basically, the Baal Teshua is the big, biggest compliment that you can give a person. But he is a master of his desires. Right? This, is, uh, this is implied by Shlomo Hanalach uh, in his statement in Kahelis 12.1. Remember you create creator all the days of your youth. So what does it mean? I mean, uh, when you hold yourself back when you're young, it's not like when, when, you, uh, when you hold yourself when you're 87 years old. So different things. <clears throat> so coming to number seven. A similar concept is implied by Avadazara 19a in its uh, interpretation of Psalms 111.1. Uh, happy is a man who fear, fears God. So fear, happy is a man who fears God. The Talmud comments, happy is the one who fears God in the full, in the full power of the manhood. Well, when you're 20 years old and you fear God, it's not the same as uh, as uh, you're 87, uh, and you fear God, right? You know that uh, half of the organs are already malfunction. So that's, uh, you, you fear, that's two different fears. When you're 20 years old, everything is working perfectly. It's a different level of fear. <clears throat> In a related matter, some Hadron 31b mentioned uh, Nathan Bar Ukwa, a classic example of Baal, Baal Teshuvah. Russian commentary relates his, his story, explained that he was, a, um, was strongly attracted to, to a married woman. His desire for her was so powerful that he became sick right, and had to be con confined to bed. Once this, woman's, once this woman suffered serious financial losses and was in dire need for money, Okay, she sent the word to Nathan. So I mean, she, she knew that uh, he, he likes her, that if he would lend her money, the money, she would consent to his wishes. So that's, that's the story. So if he gives her money, so she, she would come to him. He eagerly did so. When she came to him, he was suddenly overcome by fear of God and sent her home untouched. That's, that's a real about to show up, right? Uh, at least he did the, uh, he like uh, fear of God. Afterwards, his uh, his face shone this godly light, which sages compared to the rays of Moshe's countenance. No more, no less. It's like a Moshe. After he uh, stopped himself from from, I mean, it was his dream, and he was very close to the dream, and he called told himself that. So basically, one more time, they remember your Creator in the days of your youth. I um, uh, I have um, do you before the bad days come and years draw near when you will say I have no I have no desires for them so I have no desires for them because of the, the he is physically cannot uh, have this desire not because the Hashem said so but we said different level number eight the continuation of the verse refers to the old age it is placed in the bracket because it is omitted by most printed printings of Mishneh Torah okay. Thank you.